This is the Waldseemuller map, displayed in the pre-colonial pavilion of the Library of Congress. It's protected behind a double glass casing filled with argon gas away from harmful lighting and flash photography. For those who want a closer look, the library provides a facsimile of the map. This is the 1507 map by Martin Waltzemuller, um, one of the most important maps uh, ever created in the history of cartography. It's been called the birth certificate of America because it is the first map um, to name the, the continent. Historians are unclear why the German cartographer chose to name the new lands in honor of the explorer Amerigo Vespucci instead of Christopher Columbus, who in fact discovered America. Curator John Hassler offers his own explanation. The way I'd like to say it is Columbus discovered America, Vespucci sold it. Vespucci did market himself more. Unlike Columbus, who thought he had discovered a new route to India, Vespucci realized it was a new continent and was very active in promoting his travels. Valsi Mueller produced the map only 15 years after Columbus landed on the shores of the new continent, when few European settlements existed and the mass of land remained mostly unknown. Yet the map provides an outline of the New World and bears a surprising resemblance to the eastern coast of the American continent. Waldsee Mueller's own words suggest that this map was more than a lucky vision. The cartographer reassures his contemporaries of the accuracy of his work. And this little piece of text is a, a really amazing little piece of text. And what it really says in Latin is that if you're not familiar with the new discoveries, if you're not familiar with the discoveries of Columbus, Vespucci, and you look at this map at, at, for the first time, you might be concerned. There's a lot of things in here that you haven't recognized before. But you shouldn't be, because this is the way you will come to see your world in the future. The map was discovered in 1901 in a German castle, but it took over a hundred years and generous support from private donors to raise the funds for its purchase. In 2007, in the presence of the German Chancellor Angela Merkel, the Library of Congress introduced the public to the Walsy Mueller map. A treasure forgotten for centuries on the dusty shelves of a German castle now attracts millions. Ardita Dunelari, VOA News, Washington.